So guys, up to this, we have seen how to run a server using Manage.py uh, of Django. So now let's see how to say hello world to Django. So guys, before saying hello world to Django, I will give you a quiet intro of Django. So guys, Django is a model view control. It's the MVC, and in which we say templates to templates, and and here the functions are called views. And guys, it is a little bit confusing, but in the end of the course, I am sure you will get clear to it. So, guys, now let's see how to create a how to say hello world to Django because as the starting of any language, we should uh, it is a ritual that we say hello world uh, as well. So now we have created a uh, we have created a project my site, and in this my site, we what we need is we need two things. First is views dot py, and another is url because view is just a function in views we define a function which will say hello world and in url we uh, we need a url on which we see this hello world so guys now here you can see i am not having any views uh, i am not having any views.py so first we have to create it so for creating it i am opening my terminal in this location i have type touch and then vie ws views.py guys it's case sensitive so please type in small so guys after creating view.py using touch command what you have to do is uh, you have to open it with guide it or, or any favorite text editor so that here you have to type uh, from sorry from django uh, django.http sorry it's http and then import http response http and guys be sure about camel casing after that, uh, you have to type a function uh, which will say hello world. So for saying, uh, so you have to define a function using def, and then I will type the name hello underscore. Sorry, actually hello underscore world. So guys, my typing is a little bit so now here. So guys, now in the views, every uh, every view will take a request. Here, hello world is our view, and every view that you will create will take a request from the server that. If there is a request, then it will uh, show the output this. And guys, um, I know that you are saying that there is quite more for nothing because we are getting a return, we are getting a hello world program and then we are typing these many things. So now in return, you have to type HTTP uh, response because in response here we will response our string hello world. So I will type hello and then so. So that's it. Now our views.py has been created successfully. And guys, be sure about identification. Identification should be maintained. And after that, here uh, you have to open the urls.py. So guys, now after creating the view, you have to open the url.py. So it's uh, my url.py. I will open it with the help of guide it. So now in the url.py, here what you have to do is you have to define a url pattern. So guys, uh, here url pattern I start defined with the help of regular expression. So don't need to worry. I will tell you. Now here you have to type url and again as it is typing so guys our uh, your URL is type we started with the URL pattern here you have to type r then r then single inverted comma after that you have to type uh, chevron and guys this chevron is means the starting of the symbol and here we will end it with the help of dollar so it's a regular expression which is saying that we are starting and ending with nothing uh, with no URL pattern it means it's the base URL 127.0.0.1 in which we will see this uh, so now yeah, closing inverted comma and after that here we will define vie double views dot i think our name was hello underscore word yeah so guys, this is the name of the view that we are importing and after that guys as it is a tuple so here we need to uh, we need to place comma uh, every time so that other uh, the urls can be added and guys here we are doing a mistake that we are not importing views dot by so for importing it we will type from dot because it is in the same directory um, from dot import views i think i have typed the right url so let's see whether it's working or not so now after that we will check whether is there any error so now you can see there is no error my server is running now i will refresh it so guys now as i refresh it now we will get a hello world in this so guys i know it is a quite difficult you are getting some you are getting some difficulty in understanding but because we are doing lot of thing for nothing but don't worry in the last of the course because you will use this response and request and um, every time and i think you will be in the habit of using them so that's it for this in next tutorial we will see how to start a app because it's our project and my side we will we will start a app of suppose some course 
because I'm creating a website is my my website in which we will create a course and then we will see how to get the details of that course that will be later so that's it bye bye if you like please don't forget to like subscribe and comment bye bye